Assalamualaikum and salam Ibu Pertiwiku. Sarawakians must be united politically in pursuing their struggle to protect and restore Sarawak's constitutional rights. Chief Minister Dato' Patinggi Abang Johari Tun Openg said Sarawak had learned a lot during its 55 years working under one umbrella with their counterparts in Malaya. Abang Johari lamented that, due to loss in consensus caused by lack of representatives from Sarawak, Sarawak had lost its power and its oil reserves. Abang Johari said, Sarawak must be independent in certain things, especially as it strives to get back the Sarawak rights that has been eroded. He added, the restoration of Sarawak's rights had been in the party's manifesto since the last state election, which was led by the previous chief minister, Tan Sri Adnan Satim. The government cannot afford to have too many agencies with funding from unknown sources, said Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad. He added the government is in the midst of collecting data on the officials and staff to find out whether they were involved in politics. It was reported in July that at least seven agencies under the Finance Ministry could be dissolved, especially those pertaining to economic development. In May, Dr. Mahathir announced that the Land Public Transport Commission, SPAD, and several other government agencies deemed as political or non-essential will be abolished and redeployed, including the National Professors' Council, MPN, Special Affairs Department, JASA, the Residents' Representatives' Committee, JPP, and Malaysian External Intelligence Organization, MEIO. A KTX bullet train en route to Seoul derailed shortly after departing from Gangneung with 198 passengers aboard today. No casualties were reported and 14 passengers suffering from minor injuries were transferred to nearby hospitals. An official from the Korea Railroad Corp, Corail, said the train left the city located 237 kilometers east of Seoul and went off track around five minutes after departing while approaching Jinbu Station at around 7.35 a.m. Almost all of the train's 10 cars went off the tracks due to a yet-to-be-determined reason. Therefore, Corail said an investigation is still being carried out to determine the cause of the derailment. That is all the latest update for now. I'm Shira Abamansur for TV Sarawak, anytime, anywhere.